Okay, so basically I just uh, had a lot of trouble figuring out how to use a serpentine display or a serpentine matrix to actually use it to like make LEDs function and patterns. Because whenever you just plug the code in straight from this program, uh, LED matrix controlled by Tyler Jones, it doesn't work properly. It's uh, all messed up and such. So here's just a video to show you how to do it. Um, so first, you do have to be download the software, link in description, and then select the COM port. So you will have to have your Arduino device connected in order to create fast LED code with the software. Um, then you select mode, go to draw. And then we're gonna just have to select a color. So I'll go blue, and you can just left click to draw and you can hold it down and then right click to remove. So I'm going to just do a really basic shape to uh, demonstrate here. But there we go. And then So there we go. So now we have code, and we just push export fast LED. So then you choose a folder that you want to use. Um, I'm gonna just use one of my recent folders of fast LED stuff. Name it down at the bottom. So I'm gonna name this YouTube, and then it shows you where the document is saved. So we're gonna exit out of this, and then. Go to our downloads and then fast LED stuff wherever you store on your computer. Then we're going to open that text file. And then copy all of this. Okay. And then a uh, link in the description, you're going to find the Google Sheets or rather uh, Excel spreadsheet file. It works in either software. What you need to do is um, select the text inside of the A column. So just like this, drag all the way down to the bottom, should be 65, and then paste in the code that you just copied from the notepad. So just like this, and that changes the values all the way across here. So then what you're gonna do is copy all the text inside the G folder. So just from here, from here all the way down copy that and uh, so here's the code that's happening all I'm doing is just putting in the LED XY to the code that is put out from the program we we're just using the matrix control software and then we're using the replace function to choose the cell which then changes as you go down the list um, where to start replacing which will be the first thing and then what to swap it with which is going to be the C column right here and that just continues all the way down. Make sure to copy all of this. And then we're gonna to go to our Arduino ID. So I have right here, matrix tests open. And, ah oh shoot. So right here is the XY table, which is what's used to actually show you um, the pattern because it's specific to like serpentine stuff. So this is all the settings that is well. A uh, click to make mine work. It may be different for yours, but you can just mess with it. Make sure to choose the width and the height for your LED matrix. And what you do is you just copy all this code. So I will also try to have a GitHub link with my Arduino code posted in the description. But just make sure you have your LED pin selected correctly, your brightness, matrix width and height. And then uh, just paste all this in in front of your void loop. And then right here is the actual pattern that we want. So we're going to copy all of this, or select all of it, and then paste in the code that we copied from the spreadsheet a second ago. So you can see the values just changed. And then we are going to upload that to the Arduino, making sure that you have the correct Arduino board selected as well as the correct processor and board. So that's done uploading, and I will show a picture of that 
um, in a second. But here's some of the stuff that I've made in the past just to prove that it worked. So right here, I made this heart, um, this creeper face, and then this uh, Kirby. But you can find tons of art online that you can just pat, uh, that you can just copy really easily. So any of this stuff, just eight by eight patterns, super easy to copy. And there's also a RGB value from picture. There's a couple websites that are actually really good at this. You can even just say you want the Sonic picture. You just copy the image address, you paste it in, and then push enter. And you just tap here and you have the RGB value down here. So you can copy it over to that program that we were using earlier. So uh, all the links will be in the description. I hope you find that useful. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, yep.